discussion topic of today is budgeting analysis, cost planning and cost control. Basically, budgeting is a financial planning tool. Its most obvious features are a projection of revenues, how much you anticipate selling, and a projection of costs, how much you anticipate spending. The budget may also contain non-financial information, such as how many employees you think you need. Businesses also use budgets as a financial control tool. In this context, companies or divisions with it are not allowed to spend more than the budgeted amounts. Budgets cover a specific period of time, usually one year, and it looks into the future. Despite the fact that historical information are used to predict the budgeted amounts, the activities the firm plan take place in the future. Businesses and governments, both large and small, create what's called master budget. The master budget is a summary of the firm's operating and financial plan. It gives a big picture and sets the organization's course of action for an upcoming period. The master budget contains two classes of budgets, operating budgets and financial budgets. Operating budgets are individual budgets that result in the preparation of the budgeted income statement. This includes sales revenue budget, production budget, and manufacturing cost budgets. Individual budgets are prepared for each manufacturing cost element for direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. Operating budgets establish goals for the sales and production personnel, and they are intended to be used internally by insiders. In a specific, budgeted goals to give management information about how much they are allowed to spend during the budget period, and budgeted revenues give management information about how much is the forecasted profits during the budget period, which affect their sales plan. Financial budgets include a budgeted income statement, budgeted balance sheet, budgeted cash flows, and capital expenditure budgets. These focus primarily on cash resources needed to fund expected operations and planned capital expenditures, and they are intended to be shared with outside parties. For instance, the bank where you have a loan with may want to see your financial budgets. Master budget can be prepared in this sequence. Sales budget should be prepared at first, then the production budget is uh, prepared. Following this, uh, individual budgets are prepared for each manufacturing cost element, including direct material, direct labor, or manufacturing overhead. Then the selling and administrative expense budget is prepared. And finally, the financial budgets are prepared, including budgeted income statement, budgeted balance sheet, and budgeted cash flows. This revenue budget is prepared at first, and all other budgets depend on it. It represents the best estimate of sales revenue during the budget period, and it's very important in this context to point out that inaccurate sales budget adversely affect net income. In specific, overestimating sales revenue may result in excessive inventory that may be sold at reduced prices and hence result in income decline. In the same manner, underestimating sales revenue may result in inventory shortage and hence net income decline as well. Budgeted sales revenue can be obtained by multiplying budgeted sales volume, the number of units expected to be sold during the budget period, by the expected selling price per unit. Alpha Company is a manufacturing company that plans to sell 2,000 product units per year. The selling price is expected to be $100 per unit. All of the sales are cash sales, and the sales is evenly distributed between the four quarters of the year. So the number of units expected to be sold during the entire year is 2,000 units, and this is evenly distributed between the four quarters of the year, 
So 500 product units is expected to be sold during each quarter. The selling price is $100 per unit. So by simply multiplying the 500 product units budgeted sales volume by the $100 expected selling price per unit, we can obtain the budgeted sales revenue for each quarter and accordingly for the entire year. The budgeted sales revenue for each quarter is $50,000 and for the entire year is $200,000. So far, we know how many product units Alpha Company is intending to sell in 2020. It is intending to sell 500 units in each quarter and hence 2,000 units in the entire year. We are sure know how much revenue Alpha Company is planning to generate during the budget period. Now we need to create production budget to know how many units should be produced in each quarter to meet sales and inventory needs. This can be obtained using this formula. Budgeted sales volume is obtained from the sales revenue budget. Then desired ending inventory of finished goods is added and beginning finished goods inventory is subtracted. Production budget can be prepared by adding desired ending finished goods inventory to budgeted sales volume and subtracting beginning finished goods inventory from this figure. According to the sales revenue budget, Alpha Company is planning to sell 500 units in each quarter of 2020. And Alpha Company had 100 product units in finished goods inventory at the end of 2019. So we can use this number as the beginning inventory of the first quarter in 2020. So the beginning finished goods inventory in the first quarter of 2020 is 100 units. Alpha Company wants to always have at least 50 units in finished goods inventory at the end of each quarter, but would like to end the year with 150 units in inventory to start the next year. So the desired ending finished goods inventory level in the first quarter is in the first three quarters are 50 units, and in the last quarter is 150 units. And you need to Recognize that the ending inventory of a given quarter is the beginning inventory for the subsequent quarter. For instance, the ending inventory of the first quarter is 50 units, so the beginning inventory of the second quarter is 50 units as well. Accordingly, the required production units are 450 units for the first quarter, 500 units for the second quarter, 500 units for the third quarter, and 600 units for the last quarter. The production budget in turn provides the basis for determining budgeted costs for each manufacturing cost element, including direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. Direct material cost budget shows budgeted quantity and cost of raw materials necessary to meet production requirements. And this can be obtained by multiplying budgeted quantity of direct material units by budgeted cost per direct material unit. And the budgeted quantity of direct material units can be obtained by having direct material units required for production, adding desired ending direct material inventory, and subtracting beginning dark material inventory. Five pounds of raw material are required to produce each product unit. Raw material supplier offers selling price of $2 per pound. The ending inventory of 2019 is 250 pounds. This can be used as the beginning inventory of the first quarter in 2020. Ending inventory of 500 pounds is found to be sufficient. Now we can prepare the direct material budget. According to the production budget, required production units are 450 units in the first quarter, 500 units 
in the second quarter, 500 units in the third quarter, and 600 units in the last quarter. This is multiplied by 5 pounds of direct material required to produce each product unit. This is to obtain direct material units required for production. Then, desired ending inventory is added and beginning inventory is subtracted. This is to have budgeted quantity of direct material units. Budgeted quantity of direct material units are 2,500 units in the first three quarters and 3,000 units in the last quarter. This should be multiplied by $2 budgeted cost per pound to obtain total budgeted cost of direct material. To summarize what has been explained in this session, we have explained the rule of budgeting analysis in cost planning and in cost control. Basically, uh, budgeting is a financial planning tool. Its most obvious features are the projection of revenues, how much the firm is predicting to sell, and the projection, uh, projection of costs, how much the firm is predicting to spend. It's also a cost control tool where companies or divisions within it are not allowed to spend more than the budget amounts. And it is used as a basis for performance evaluation where variances between actual and budgeted amounts are computed and analyzed. The underlying reasons for unfavorable variance should be analyzed, as will be explained in more details later on in this course. Uh, we have also explained the role of master budget in cost planning and in cost control. Uh, basically, the master budget is a family of the firm's operating and financial plan. It gives a big picture and sets the organization course of action for an upcoming period. It contains two classes of budgets, operating and financial budgets. Operating budgets are individual budgets that help in the preparation of the financial budget. They establish goals for the sales and production personnel and are intended to be used by insiders, where management need to understand how much they are allowed to spend and how much is forecasted profit which influence their sales plan. The financial budgets include budgeted income statement, budgeted balance sheet, uh, budgeted cash flows, and capital expenditure budget. Uh, these focus primarily on cash resources needed to fund the expected operations and planned capital expenditures. They are intended to be shared with outside parties such as banks and regulatory agencies. The master budget is prepared uh, in this sequence uh, where the sales budget is prepared at first, then the production budget is prepared. Uh, following this, um, individual budgets are prepared for each manufacturing cost element, including direct material, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. Then the selling and the administrative expense budget is prepared. And finally, the financial budgets are prepared. Today, we have explained how the sales budget is prepared and how the production budget is prepared and how the dark material cost budget is prepared. The next time, we will carry on with the rest of this chapter, inshallah. And I would like to thank you so much for listening.